What is up, YouTubers? Jerry the Mining Monkey signing in on this beautiful afternoon. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be upgrading from any version of Nocta Macro's Legend version 1.x to its version 1.11, which is the latest version. And in, one, in version 1.11, there's an, quite a number of um, modifications that have, di that have been done. One in particular that I'm really, really excited is the multi-frequency in park mode has been updated to prevent coins from being masked by aluminum foil. That was driving me crazy. And uh, anyways, for those of you that have never upgraded your Nocta Macro Legend, hopefully this does the trick. I know that some of you may be a little apprehensive at up updating your machine uh, because for fear of uh, maybe messing it up. But at any rate, this is a rather painless uh, procedure. And uh, without further ado, let's see what we can do. All righty. So for starters, we're going to go to noctadetectors.com. And you're going to click on metal detectors at the top. You're going to go to coin and relic detectors, then go to the legend. Once you get to the legend, you're going to go to software update. When you click on software update, you're going to see the latest version here, which is version 111. You see that? And so the first thing that you want to do is you're going to go to the bottom. You're going to type in control panel if you have Windows 11. If you don't have Windows 11, just simply go to the control panel on Windows. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your programs and features or add remove programs if you if you have an older operating system if you have any version it says windows driver package silicon laboratories you'll notice here just right click on it uninstall do you wish to continue select yes and it's gone that quick also if you have any other nocta macro tools that are also in here go down the list and also right click, highlight it, right click and uninstall. Okay, that's all you need to do. So in this case, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna commence with the updating. You're gonna click on the legend update tool and you're gonna place it in a directory where, it, um, where you know it's gonna be um, in case you don't recognize where it's at. So just select downloads, downloads is an easy location to remember where it's at. You're going to download it and you'll notice that it downloaded right here in the top right corner and you're going to click show in folder if you can right click it. What you're going to do is you're going to right click it and you're going to select extract all and leave everything that is up here you're going to leave that alone and just click extract. When you click extract, it's gonna, you're gonna double click the legend update tool. You're gonna get another window and it's very specific. It tells you with the legend turned off, connect the USB cable to the legend. So this is the USB cable that came with your machine. Okay, it's a special proprietary cable with a USB end on it, okay? And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your legend, you're gonna disconnect or unscrew this um, cap and you're going to carefully screw this in. Sorry about the camera folks. It's a little blurry because I'm doing this one-handed. I had to set the camera down because it was almost impossible to do one-handed. Okay. Make sure it's screwed in there and don't over tighten it. You just want to hand tighten it until it stops, okay? And then what you're going to do is make sure that the legend is still turned off, okay? You're going to connect the USB cable to the legend. You're going to hear something. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click this little arrow that says uh, this little blue arrow. You're going to click on that. It's going to say with the legend turned off, connect the USB cable to the computer, which we just did. I got ahead of myself. Anyways, 
We're going to continue. And then it's going to tell you that the Silicon Lab CP210X USB to UART bridge driver does not exist. Right drivers must be installed. So click install driver and you're going to get this window. Click next. I accept. Accept the uh, end user license agreement. Click next. And then bam, you're going to get this little check mark. Click finish. And you're done. So next what you're going to do is press and hold the up button until the UP designation shows up on the screen. Up, the UP designation stands for update. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the machine and we're going to hold the up button. until up shows up, okay? We're gonna go back to the computer, and then we're going to select the arrow to the right, continue, and my current software version is 1.10. Do you see that? New software version is 1.11. I'm gonna click update. As you can tell, I have not updated this version to the latest version, so I'm gonna click update. Do not interrupt this process, okay? Make sure that you only click it once, all right? And it tells you, do not disconnect or turn off the legend. Also, make sure that your legend is also fully powered up, guys, because uh, if it shuts off during the, um, during the upgrade process, it may hose up your firmware, okay? just to tell you, it, it might brick. So you'll notice that um, it'll go to 100%, it's updated. The installed version will be displayed at the upper right corner of the screen. And you'll notice here that it's now loading. And um, I'm gonna shut this down. I'm gonna disconnect the cable. I'm gonna fire it back up, and you'll notice that when it turns back on, you'll notice that in the top right corner, you'll see the version 1.11, okay? See that, 1.11, it's updated. It's been updated to the latest version. And that's it. You have been upgraded to the latest version 1.11. So one last thing that Octomacro actually recommends strongly after upgrading your firmware is to reset to factory defaults. Don't know what that is for, but anyways, these are these, these are the steps to actually doing that. You're gonna press on your settings cog here on the bottom right. You're gonna see the blinking cursor here on the bottom system tray there, and you're gonna use your arrows to key over to the profile person. You see your profile, which is blinking. You're then gonna click, you're gonna see a little plus sign. You're gonna click on the plus sign here on your Nocto Macro, and it's gonna open up your profiles here that, that you have. In this case, I have three profiles. So I'm gonna factory default my profile. You have to do this for each profile that you have. Hold it down for number one, and profiles have been saved. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was helpful. You guys have a good one, and go bananas in the field, man. Thank you.